8th Avenue. She barely looked at me for a second or two. And I suddenly realized I no longer look much like a hippie. Ah. She had a long, thin dress and rainbow clothes. Not long ago, I wore one of those. But nowadays, I guess, I don't dress very much like anything. Ah. I had a great pair of bell bottoms. I had two. My friend borrowed one, and the other I outgrew. And now to the eye, I'm turning into another nondescript guy. Except I still traveled light, and my hair was still long. I still hated deodorant, and I still sang songs. But over the years, I had noticed I wasn't dressing as colorfully or psychedelic as I used to. Because I had worn my tie-dyes till they rotted to shreds, and I could no longer follow the Grateful Dead. And it had gotten to the point where I didn't even identify with most fish fans anymore. And I knew someday I'd probably cut my hair. I knew the day after that I probably wouldn't even care. Is that what it all comes down to all along? Everything that you feel will one day feel wrong. I was talking to my friend Eric just to see what he thought. And he said, Jeff, it's weird, but I no longer look like a punk. I guess we don't need our clothes for an identity crutch. And we looked at each other and we didn't look like much. And we looked out at the world like a movie theater. At all the hippies and the punks and the skinheads and the skaters. And someday or other, maybe sooner or later, they come to the realization that what's important is whether you can carry on a human conversation. And that it's not what you wear on the outside, it's how you think and feel on the inside.